Hey guys, this is Psychic Gigi. I'm doing a general love reading for Sagittarius for the month of February 2019. Sorry, it's um, coming out a little late, but um, I did want to get to you guys as well. Um, so the first card, which again is is the center of this. Um, Love reading for Sagittarius 2019 for February is the Four of Swords. So it signifies a break, like from your normal life. There's a need for you guys to take a break from your normal life, or there might be somebody who's kind of um, taking a time out, kind of withdrawn a little bit. So if you're currently in a relationship, you might be feeling a little bit disconnected. Um, but it's important to let your partner know like what is going on inside as well if you feel disconnected or ask them if they feel disconnected or if you feel like they're being disconnected from you so just remember that um, your feelings are your own it's not necessarily your job to make someone feel fabulous <laughs> but it's um, it may be just simply some you need some time apart so don't hesitate to take it by the way so for all the single Sagittarius, if you're looking for love, now is the now is not the time to push. Like you're better off finding out and like kind of evaluating, taking a little rest time, find, finding out exactly what you're looking for in a relationship. The time will come and you will meet somebody, but I don't feel like it's going to be this month, guys. So it's not going to be immediately, and if it is, it's not that long-term committed relationship that you're kind of looking for. The next card that we have is the Two of Pentacles. So again, you're feeling like it's just all too much. I need to get some rest. It's all too much. Um, you just can't deal with all the things that are on your plate right now, and it's important to pay attention to those feelings as well. For those of you who are in a committed relationship, um, there might be some other things that, are, that you're more concerned about, and it's kind of pulling your attention away from from your loved one so be sure you do again let your partner know how much you care and appreciate them for those that you are single be sure that you're not um, fooling yourself about how ready again are you really ready do you really know what you want in regards to a relationship when it comes to your life if you're constantly like, filling all your time with work and other distractions there may not be room for someone so this is evaluate. I get evaluate if you're single. The next card that we have is the High Priestess. So you might be feeling it difficult to hear what your intuition is telling you. Again, you might need to get some rest, and you're not you're not listening to yourself. You're not listening to your inner emotions. Your intuition's not on target. So it's clear. It's a it's a clear time. It's a clear sign for you guys to kind of quiet, get some quiet time. Um, whether you're need to meditate or just kind of spend some time alone try different approaches maybe you want to start doing something new journaling or walking or maybe even exercising the information you seek is right in front of you so you have to kind of trust your instincts on this and this actually goes for both the the anyone who's in a relationship and single that that's the energy I'm getting it's time to just take a break um, do a little meditation. The next card is the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles, it could be a man in your life. Um, but you can absolutely trust this man. Even if you're feeling, you know, a little bit indecisive about mm, his intentions, his, mo you know, his feelings, again, this is an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, that is currently in your life, and you can definitely um, trust them. So, Or they might be coming along. They might be coming into your life. So kind of put your best for, foot forward. Also, um, don't pretend to be some someone that you're not. Make sure that you allow this person to see you for exactly who you are. They will love you. Be honest, and everything could, should just fall into place. Um, if you are currently in a relationship, you might very well be moving into a more comfortable place with your partner. But if you're dissatisfied, you'll need to say 
something for anything for things to start changing for changes to start happening so don't expect anyone to be reading your minds the next card that we have the wheel of fortune it indicates there is a positive need for change but for some change is just is is very difficult right now and it's almost um kind of preventing you from moving forward you're going to actually come to conclusions some clues some conclusions some ideas in around your relationship some of you might feel that you know what your relationship is not working for you because your needs are not being met this is you know when I get something like this I'm feeling like there is a you know you need to evaluate you need a sober evaluation about how your love life is working and how you're feeling about your relationships and if you want to continue to stay you might decide that you need to take some action and make sure make sure that if if you do decide to do that do it take action move guys move um, if you um, are looking for a relationship you again you have to get very clear on exactly what you're looking for in a relationship what your needs your wants are um, and also putting yourself into a situation where you could possibly meet people and it's not necessarily online dating maybe you need to meet this person kind of outside get out you know start something new the next card that we have is the hangman um, well, this shows that you're at a crossroads. So again, a, a little indecisive. You guys need to start making some decisions here. Um, a little indecisive. So you have one or two options. In, out, up, down, yes or no. You might find yourself very much wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is or how, how to do it. So again, evaluation, meditation, taking some time to yourself, quiet, settle everything down. Um, you feel like nothing seems to be happening right now. Like that, that this is the suspension and you're kind of sick of it. You're getting ready to build. You're just like, I can't even deal with it right now. But you have to try to understand that in order for things to change, it's, it's not, you might not just, it's not just going to happen for you guys. So kind of just relax. And again, look for different things in and around you. So the next card we have is it the 10 of pentacles. Your mental wishes will be met. So make the best of it. And you have to be um, sure to share. Again, nobody's a mind reader. You have to be able to share your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions with your partner. Um, you know, show an act of kindness to somebody, maybe if you don't even know this person. Um, we get back what we give out. So that, that's super important. If you're currently in a committed relationship, it could mean that you're going to move to a next level, whether you're going to uh, move in with your, your partner, um, engagement, marriage, maybe even thinking about expanding your family. It also could indicate um, for this, like it's, it's a peaceful, happy period. This, I love this card, by the way. So enjoy. Just make, make the best of it and make sure that the person that you do love and care for knows how much they mean to you. If you're currently not in a relationship at this moment, it could mean that there's someone new coming in. And they're going to come in pretty fast. So your head's going to spin. Be open to it. The next card I have is the Queen of Cups Reverse. Um, this is a... I always get a female energy, a feminine energy. Um, very loving. But if you... If you push her the wrong way, her head can turn. She could be doing a 360 with her head as far as being com being very loving and nice and then turning into anger. She might be a little bit frustrated because she's not getting um, the, her needs met in around a relationship or she's not getting the response from this male energy that, that's around her or, or female energy. That could be a male or female energy, by the way, guys. So... But overall, it still looks good. Like, just stay focused. Try, if this is you, Sagittarius, try to remain on your, your loving side of your personality. True, deep to others. Try to be a little bit more understanding. And, again, don't be too pushy. So, um, 
sometimes you just have to be a little bit patient. The next card I have for you guys is the Three of Pentacles, which is reversed. You have to allow, don't allow yourself to um, slack off in your relationship. Remember, if you want things to start happening, you want things to start connecting and coming forward, you need to put the effort in. And it's, it, this goes for the single Sagittarians as well. You have to kind of put yourself out there. But at the same time, I do feel like you guys hold your head up high. So um, everything that you do is is holding your head up high. I get holding your head up high. And even if it takes a lot of work for you to do that, because we have the, the ton of wands right here, you could be in a hard, really, a hard place in your relationship right now. And it can be that like maybe somebody's just going through a rough time in the relationship and might need just a little bit more support. But it's still telling me, like, even the overall of this reading, that things need to be examined, looked at. You know, are, are you really happy? Um, what is exactly that you need and you want in a relationship? If you feel like, if you're single and you feel like you're frustrated and things are just not coming towards you and you're like, you're frustrated. You're like, why, why am I not getting this? Again, look at your relationship. See what you want in around a relationship. What are you looking for? Um... It might take a little bit longer, but it's going to eventually come to you guys. So, again, we're going to go back to the Four of Swords. It's time to take some rest and get some um, self-reflection. Okay, Sagittarius for February. Love reading for 2019. Thank you. Again, my name is Psychic Gigi. Please like, share, subscribe. And if you would like a private reading, a more in-depth reading regarding your love, career finance my information is listed below you can click on one of the links contact me through my email lovingangel09 at yahoo.com see you guys next month